It's oh, hey, one. speaking of teacher. Yes. Gail Simone's comic book school. Have you heard about it? Is that true? Is that real? So there's been some serious side carping for the last three days. <laughs> um, and I, I peeked in on it. Honestly, I mainly just felt pity. Um, there's this, this, Stop the fucking they're all kids. sensing we're trying to kill you. No, <laughs> they're all sensing that there's something very different about this year. So you're seeing a lot of casting about. And so, uh, Gail Simone kind of side carp to YouTube and then stopped. And then she did this thing called comic book class. And I defy you to finish one day's worth. Where it's on YouTube. You go to no, it's no. Oh God, no! What do you think this is? Two thousand and seventeen? No, this is two thousand and eight. <laughs> uh, go to her Twitter and find. Uh, we'll just do at Gail Simone and then hashtag comic book class, and then you should find. There's we're on day one, day two, and day three. And if you thought that talking to people like their children was like just a being nervous on YouTube thing, oh God, no, no. Is is, is it? Video? But you will believe in yourself after reading this. It's excruciating. I guarantee no nobody can make it through reading. It's like thirty tweets in a row, and that's the class. Is, is it is it video like tweets or is it just her writing? No, no, you're like Ed, Edwin used to make video tweets. No, no, it's just typed. The class is She's... her typing, it, saying "Hello, class," and then the next tweet is like, "But now Take we know out a piece voice. of paper." It's worse because now I know what her voice is like. And please, I... Ethan, please do this. Uh, do what the Gail Simone twenty three. Yeah, on like day two of of comic book class. Oh my god! Uh, okay, so it's on Twitter. I got to sign out because uh, Gail has blocked me. Actually, I kind of want to read these. Do you do you want to switch? I, I want to uh, read this one, Ethan. I would just say, hey Mike, hey Mike, <laughs> go ahead read it. Oh, she's ringing a bell. Wow, great. So, so she's very excited about. It, it looks like a penis. Thank yeah. you. Go ahead, Zach. Actually, I was trying to remember how condescending she was. It was real slow too. It's like, okay, students, welcome to Comic School campus, and class is in session. Ding ding! No rocket spouse. Today is day one of five. Orientation day. Hashtag Comic School. She decorated the the marble notebook. Oh, oh, Gail, aren't you a delight? This is your like black marble notebook, and you put comic book stickers. This is me, Deadpool. This is you and Ninja getting your head cut off. <laughs> All right, here we go. For today's class, oh god, I can't take it anymore. No, it's like forty of these in a row. Mm. Her average fan is probably. I'm not. Oh, and Ethan, you read. I'll do it. I'll read. 39? 39 years old? Would you say her yeah, average yeah. Twitter yeah. follower? 39 years old? Yeah. Go ahead, Ethan. Yeah, I, I, I tapped out real early. For today's class, it would be. <laughs> Did he freeze? Yeah. Yeah. That's classic right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, for today's. Oh, God. I can't remember how to do the voice anymore. <laughs> Oh, for God's sake. It's so condescending. I, I never realized how condescending her voice is. You have to uh, okay, I'm gonna do it. For today's class, it would be helpful for you to have the following equipment. A pen or pencil, a notebook or notepad, a small box or container. It would also be great. Yeah, just, everyone's hmm. just quitting on this one. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're literally breaking the internet right now. It would also be great if you had your cell phone. We won't be calling. And if that, that, was your, that, was your, that was your Ed McMahon say, oh, you are such a delight. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You're so funny. You're funny. An eight-sided die, but the Rocket last spouse, two are no, not necessary. Rocket Spouse put that last one in there. Rocket Spouse, no. <laughs> if you miss a session, don't worry. You can, Oh, shit. Ugh. I need someone to take this one. I can't do it. It's like a therapist. Go if ahead. you miss a session, don't worry. You can catch up online, but but please don't skip ahead. Try to do a session and the exercise included. Wait a bit, then catch up if necessary, okay? First, the goal here is not to help you make a perfect story. It is also not to help you get published, not at this stage. Because we need to do that. What it is, 
is part lesson, part stimulator of what writing comics is for most people working for a publisher. Uh, if you do the exercises, you may in fact learn some things that you didn't even realize at the time. So some stuff might sound a little bit theatrical or specific, but it all has a point, I promise. At the end of sessions two through five, we will have a short Q&A for specific questions. This is insufferable. It, and watch you, the, you haven't even started. It's, it gets so much worse. Oh, my God. And It's just uh, blather. It's just blather of, oh, God. I just hate when heavy. No, there's, there's a great part. Side. If you can scroll down a little bit, it gets really speechy. All thinking. of this is basically like, like, hey, everyone, like, we're trying to pump you up. Don't worry. You can't mess this up. This is the only person grading you is you. Gail, For, these I, are grown ups. These are fucking grown ups. <laughs> these Gail, are not I children. <laughs> god damn it. Oh my fucking god. Can you imagine some fu big fat former hairdresser who conned her way into the comic book industry with this whole women in refrigerators scam? Zach, this should have been the fucking plot of Expendables Go to Hell. <laughs> this is hell. <laughs> they get there and they're fucking chained to desks. And fucking no, you, you don't you, you don't know the gold that's that's down further. It, I think it's on this day. It might be on day two, but I think it's on All this right, day. Let me, let me I'll scroll down. Uh, but you're going nah. too fast. Oh, I am okay. Now one even Nick, it's idea. intimidating. All right, hold on. One project, one idea, one executed story. That's our goal. So your thesis at the end is going to be something manageable, something that can be accomplished. A five eight page story, or a complete story. Now, even that can sound intimidating, but I promise we were doing this in minnow-sized bits because you're retarded. Everyone's, it, she talks it's to everyone right, like they're retarded children. Minnows. Oh, I thought you put that in there. That was, that was in there. And at the end, she talks to everyone like they're just little Down syndrome children. And she's so smart, but so kind, you know, and I'm being kind to you, dummy. I'm going in slow motion just for you. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, all right, let me see. Uh, and at the end, you will have written a real complete comic script with a lot of help and suggestions from people who do this for a living. Sound Wait, good? Doesn't that contradict the only people, only person judging you is you? Yeah, that's right. That's yeah, so it looks like people are going to come in there and start saying, here's how you can improve. That's a judgment. John, will you read from here? Can you can you read it? Yeah. Uh, let me yep. get my spectacles. Oh, out. this is no, this is this. Oh, this is the gold right here. Oh, yeah. you want to read it, Zach? Go ahead. Oh, yeah, no, I, no, it's, it's no, it's no, you're sorry. better than me, Zach. Zach, you're better. Okay, than me. so all my voices sound like me. <laughs> <laughs> um, step one: pick up your cell phone if you have one. Mm. 2020 everyone has a cell phone that was a joke. turn it on yeah. you, you're not ready for this you are not ready for it turn it on go to camera mode switch it to selfie mode what i am about to say it's probably the most important thing we will cover see that person in your camera screen no don't oh that is the that. person who is by miles the most likely to stop you from achieving your goals and dreams that person is a person no. who will say you aren't good enough. You're too busy. You're not from the right background or education. What? Look at that smug bastard. Oh. Come she on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Oh, no, you went to it. Okay. Yeah. Talent is out there. Education can be acquired. But this person on screen may already be planning to hold you back. Oh, my and God. And we all have that person in our screen. I absolutely do. And I have run out of shelf space for the comics. I oh god, fuck you! <laughs> I can't, uh, I'm, out, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I guarantee she stole that fucking line from some stupid weight loss seminar she went to, where they said, "Do, us, do me a favor, take out your phone." No, what, but how does it end? It ends with a humble brag. She's of trying course. to pump you up, and then she's like, "I've run out of shelf space for the comics I've written." Well, she does this all the time. She did this before. She goes, you're going to get some advice from people who have done real comics, who have written real comics for real publishers. Uh, so she's continually humble bragging and letting you know that she's the one who's going to teach you because you are a little Down syndrome child. She's going to teach you just pick up your phone and look at, look at yourself in the phone. That's the person who's going to hold you back, but you don't have to let it. 
This is uh, this is an outrage. This is a fucking outrage. Who is she? What is this? Turn your phone off. We all need to make that person our friend, our fan, and our supporter. This self-help bullshit. We'll work mm. on it. But remember, it's not weird haters. Uh, it's not critics. It's not family who are our biggest hurdle. It's almost always us. Chicken soup for your vagina. What is wrong with this woman? What the hell is wrong with this woman? How good is chicken soup? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, I think I'm ready to go back in. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go in. Zach has no alcohol. <laughs> it, it's pretty good, by the way. So, so let's make an agreement with that person that they will not. Oh, that they will shut the hell up for five days. Because I'll guarantee you, speaking as a former hairdresser who lived in the boonies and had never been to a con, they can't they can't stop talking about conventions. That's every the entire industry is conventions to them. Yeah. It can be done. It happens all the time. All right. I was just handed an announcement for him from the campus nurse that there's a bit of a bug going around and it's called impot I, you know, I'm out. I'm out again. I can't I I I'm out. Uh, it's called Cecil, you're in. syndrome. Go ahead, Cecil. You take it from here. I think he might have gone to the bathroom. I think that's what it means. Uh, John, you want to take it? Even in your uh, eyes. Where are we at? The all right? The, all right. The, uh, yeah, start yeah. over again. All right. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. I was just handed an announcement from the campus nurse that there's a bit of a bug going around. Wait, didn't, didn't read this? And it's called imposter syndrome. <laughs> oh. Jesus. Symptoms are waffling and a panicked feeling that you don't belong. What the? Uh, Go with that me. feeling. Go Whoa, she got that. a little. Look at her. Screw that noise. If you want to make comics, you belong. Take two Astro Cities and call me. No, no oh. I'm taking my headphones off. I can't take this shit. Yeah, this is pretty Fuck terrible. Me. Why are you putting us through this, Ethan? I'm not. It's Zach's idea. All right. Now, one more thing before we get started on this first exercise. Take out your pen and notebook, notebook if you have one. All right, class, I want you to think for a moment. When you think of the excuses, and I'm not judging, they may be entirely legitimate. Uh, for why you have not written a comic strip before, what are the top three reasons for you? Write them down on a sheet of paper, just three. Crumple it up and throw it over your shoulder. Okay, I, I, I gotta, I gotta interrupt. So this is a, this is a person, like a real person, mm -hmm. in the world, <laughs> who probably how many work assignments does she have going right now? Three. I, I don't know. know. Too many. You're you are in so much pain. I can hear it in your voice, Ethan. And, uh, I'm pissed off beyond belief. This is unbearable. This is a cartoon of who so imagine hiring minor. this person. They're like, "Hey, Gail, how's the script coming in?" She's like, "Um, excuse me. Um, my office hours are three to six on Tuesdays. I'm a professor now." <laughs> okay. The, the the other thing I want to say is this is clearly written with no plan. She galaxy brained this idea. She says, "I this is going to be delightful." There's no plan. It's just blather. So I just can't get past the freaking like Stuart Smalley instructor. Like, oh, are you one hundred percent serious? Smalley. It's self help, fucking. Yeah, it's blather. That's all it is. Feel good. Here's a warm hug from Gail Simone to you, somebody who feels so much. Sometimes you doubt yourself. But look in the mirror, sunshine. I see the real you. Write down all the reasons why you are choosing not to succeed on a sheet of paper. Then crumple it up and shove it up your ass. Because <laughs> that's... <laughs> you I mean, have to be as good as me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, like, Gail is not... Oh, my God. If you stacked up all my comics end to end, it'd be as long as a six-foot sub. <laughs> Maybe she's trying to get a job at that Joe Cuber school. Okay. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of self punishment in the replies, which is to be expected. Folks, I promise half of your reasons are things that have been instilled into you. They aren't necessarily true. I turned down comics offers because I thought I would suck at dialogue. More humble bragging, mm -hmm. turning down comic offers because she wanted to, uh, now it's my favorite part. 
everyone thinks it's impossible until they try and find out it isn't. Yeah, if you do, do like Domino, you just have six women with all the same voice. It's simple, <laughs> right? Dialogue. Yeah, Domino was <laughs> such an experience. I was literally reading a person who doesn't know what the lead character's superpowers are for five issues. And then the lead, the character who has had those powers their entire life, goes, wait a minute, this is how my powers work. Are you freaking kidding me? Uh, everyone thinks it's impossible until they try and find out that you can do it if you just suck at it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, everyone thinks this is hard, but you can do it if you're When just did you get hard. into the emotional blackmail lesson? Is that day four or five? It's coming step, up here. Get 100 Twitter followers. Step two, threaten your editor. Yeah. Threaten your uh, threaten the whole company, uh, blackmail them uh, with your uh, gender, gender politics. Uh, all right, uh, everyone thinks it's impossible until they try and find out it isn't. They may even find out they're good at it, but at least, at the very least, they can find out it can be done. That's what we're gonna do. All right, now if you can, tear out that sheet of your notebook. What if you can't? What if you can't tear the sheet out of your notebook? Get scissors. Get scissors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't tear it up or throw it away. Oh, this is excruciating. I'm reading ahead. This is in, I, I, know, I, I, Zach, this is worse than I ever this could have This is imagine. like freaking torture. Be sure your notebook is uh, has a perforated page. Well, I'm trying to write a comic book. There. Keep writing. I'm fucking listening to this shit. Uh -huh. uh, do you have a little box to put your breathing, your sheet of breathing to not be a great writer? I need you to rip it out and fold it up and put in. That's, that's literally what it says. Take okay, it. Get ready. Take uh, it. Don't a whiskey bottle. Breathe into it. Then put the cork back in. <laughs> and in a few weeks, go and breathe the air out of that. That was the old used breath. See how it feels different? <laughs> like the wind. This is a goddamn nightmare. This is like the worst thing I've ever. And I honestly like. You know, you can criticize Gail. You can say all these things about her, but they're true. I, like every bad thing we've ever said about Gail Simone is true. And we've been understating it. This is a goddamn nightmare. All right. Now, if you can tear that sheet out of your notebook, don't tear it up or throw it away. We're going to use it later, but tear the sheet with your reasons out. Now, fold that sheet of paper up and put it in the box and close the lid if Jesus you have one. what if you don't have a lid shit john what if you don't have a lid if you have one but what if you don't what if your lid falls off when you open it and you don't have the money to get it repaired uh, okay uh cecil's ripping up his uh list get in a box <laughs> Fold that sheet of paper up and put it in the box and close the lid if, if you have one. This isn't a joke. I'm serious. The box is our roadblock box, and it's going to come into play later. If there's uh, no lid, put cookies over top of them. Look at this bullshit. Look at this. Uh, me showing up for class like, okay, Gail, I'm ready to be patronized. I'm ready to be condescended <laughs> to. I'm ready to be uh, filled with useless bromides that don't get me anywhere as a writer. I'm ready to like myself more because that's my <laughs> real problem. Mm -hmm. My real problem is I need to like myself more than I already do. Here's my flag. Here's my die. I hope they, when, when does she get up to the point where I don't need no man? All right. Hold on. Uh, right now, we're taking our excuses and fears and we're putting them in a box and putting that box aside. It is currently relevant and would only be it is not currently relevant and would only be in the way i promise you nearly every writer you admire has or had a list like this zero did mm -mm. zero did, did. what do you think work. edgar Allan poe had a list like this why i'm not letting myself uh succeed uh, no. maybe it's the opium uh, maybe i'm fucking my cousin and that's a problem <laughs> i'm just imagining norman mailer in freaking world war ii <laughs> and he's getting an inspection they're like soldier what's in that pouch a tiny little box, sir. Hemingway. What is it in this? It's a list of things I tell myself when I don't believe. Hemingway had a little box with a bullet in it. Uh, when he got to this point, he just fucking blew his brains out. Oh. All right, here we go. I promise you, nearly every writer you admire has had a list like this. Adolf Hitler, 
Did he have a list like this when uh, he was writing Mein Kampf? Mm. Uh, and it's only repetition uh, and endurance. Uh, Alfred, uh, uh, you know, Adolf Hitler sitting there like, I can the next Poland. I can't. Believe I- in yourself, Addy. <laughs> and made them learn to see past it. I guarantee you, those Eisner winners, most of them had writ- wrote the same kinds of things you did. So most screw- of them are hacks. <laughs> Eisner winners. Oh, this is awful. Uh, all right. All right. Now we're ready. We know the person we have to arm wrestle. It's us. And we put our excuses where they can't be heard. Shh, excuses. Shut up. Uh, so we have a blank page. And that's terrifying. But it's exciting as hell, too, you guys. Mm. That blank page is not your enemy. That blank page is the passport and conduit between the thrilling ideas in your head to the open receptors and everyone else's. You get to put stuff on it. Places and people. That is the best part. <laughs> what is this place? I don't know, but I, that's how I read it. Just a lot. You're, you're turning into Richard Simmons because I feel like this is all shit. She, she's, she's like, you know, she's cribbing from like weight loss seminars and putting it towards fucking. You know, you want to know who's going to stop you? You. Yeah. <laughs> Write down the 10 things you love to eat most. And now take that list and put it in a box. And those are the 10 things you're not allowed to eat. <laughs> it's just fucking repurposed fucking weight loss shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say, but let me look at the people who responded. Look at this. Remember Deal Emil? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's his freaking Deal Emil. <laughs> nice. Can I have bread today? No. <laughs> but I can't. No, I mean, it's kind of fucked up because, you know, she really lays out a good way to kind of, I, I guess, in a way, to kind of motivate yourself and deal with, you know, problems and get your excuses out of the way and, and focus on you and doing your best work. But on the other hand, she's also the lady who's out there complaining about the patriarchy is holding everybody down and let me tell you about white people and this and all these other fucking problems it's like bitch what happened to getting and putting your excuses in a fucking box and just do the fucking work you know <laughs> me, though it's that gail simone is a con artist that conned her way yeah. into the comic book industry through emotional uh manipulation and blackmail mm-hmm. uh, by suggesting that the people who were uh skilled uh many of them some of them weren't uh, but many of the writers who were skilled were objectifying and exploiting women. And only somebody. Not enough, like, if you ask me. I agree. And yeah. only somebody like Gail Simone uh, needed to come in uh, after writing uh, one article after the other, uh, basically just like Anita Sarkeesian, feminism, uh, you know, her third wave feminist uh, agenda. Uh, after writing all these women in refriger- uh, refrigerators articles, some cuck, and I don't know who it was, but some cuck gave her work in the mainstream of comics. And she didn't do a very good job. She basically watched the documentary that uh, Joss Whedon made, no, J.J. Abrams made for the Lost uh, Lost TV show on DVD. And said, always talk about something that's in a box. That's how to get people interested. There's something in the box. What is it? What's in the box? Mystery. Gail, Gail wrote a whole story, uh, Secret Society of Supervillains or something like that, where the thing was, what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? And people say that was good. I read it. It was shit. Uh, and people I started giving Gail more and more work. Yeah, I mean, that was the whole ending to the movie Seven. Spoiler is his wife's head. <laughs> yeah, what's in the box? His wife's severed head. Ah, that's not what I wanted to learn. <laughs>